In today's top cryptocurrency news, January 11, 2023, in the first new, touch and smell comes to the Metaverse, Nifty Newsletter, January 4th to 10th. A cybersecurity firm warned users of a fake Pokemon NFT game that spreads malware and targets gamers. In the second new, City of London, British trade groups form new Digital Currency Advocacy Alliance. The UK capital's governing body is partnering with the Digital Pound Association and other trade groups to promote good crypto policy and practice, and the UK's position as a global financial centre. In the third new, Bitcoin price rally to $18,000 possible as $275 million in BTC options expire on Friday. Bitcoin bulls aim to push BTC price to $18,000 and options data outlines clear reasons why. In the fourth new, Huobi delists 33 tokens in one day citing trading risk, low volume. Some tokens were delisted due to severe violation of regulations. In the fifth new, a key change in Ethereum options pricing hints that ETH price could rise beyond $1,350. Ethereum whales are market makers are no longer charging excessive premiums for protective put options, a sign that ETH price could be en route to new highs. In the sixth new, Binance approved to offer crypto services to Swedish customers. The decision from Sweden's financial authority followed regulators in France, Bahrain, Spain and Dubai granting similar approvals for Binance in 2022. In the seventh new, Three Arrows Capital creditors express frustration with bankruptcy process during call. 3AC co-founder Kyle Davies announced regular meetings with creditors, noting that all involved parties are welcome to attend. In the eighth new, Bitcoin gained 300% in year before last halving, is 2023 different? Bitcoin has the potential to deliver gains that are stronger than most think, market analyst Rect Capital believes. In the ninth new, Nigerian innovator launches first active Bitcoin Lightning node in the country. A new Bitcoin Lightning node in Nigeria could inspire individuals to take control of their financial future, node runner Megasly told Cointelegraph. In the 10th new, Abu Dhabi-based Venom Foundation launches $1 billion fund for Web3 and blockchain. Venom Ventures Fund is allocating $1 billion to invest in Web3 blockchain and cryptocurrency projects and services. In the 11th new, FTX has recovered over $5 billion in cash and liquid crypto report. Previous reports suggested that FTX saw losses peak at nearly $9 billion in total liabilities. In the 12th new, multi-party computation could offer increased protection for crypto wallets. Multi-party computation can help users to protect their private keys and seed phrases when used in wallets. In the 13th new, Solana price rally risks exhaustion after Sol's 120% pump in two weeks. Sol price has been unable to close above a key resistance level of around $17.50 despite its big rebound in the past two weeks. In the 14th new, Music NFTs are helping independent creators monetize and build a fan base. The Agenda podcast chats with Adam Levi of Mint and rapper Jay Killer about non-fungible tokens, Web3 and the struggles of being an independent musician. In the 15th new, Dutch exchange Bitvavo rejects DCG's proposal to repay 70% of debt. After having about $290 million locked at Digital Currency Group, Bitvavo decided to prefund the assets on its own and is now looking for full repayment. In the 16th new, Hong Kong watchdog aims to restrict retail traders to liquid products. When asked about Bitcoin or Ether, SFC executive Julia Lung Feng Yi did not respond but reiterated that highly liquid products will be allowed. In the 17th new, Wazirex releases proof of reserves with majority of funds in Binance wallets. The cryptocurrency exchange released its proof of reserves and proclaimed it to be India's largest exchange both in volume and reserve funds. In the 18th new, DCG chief Barry Silbert pens letter to shareholders, community reacts. Barry Silbert's letter to shareholders 
came just hours after Cameron Winklevoss wrote an open letter accusing him of defrauding customers. In the 19th new, Coinbase to close majority of Japan operations following global layoffs, report. Vice President of International and Business Development, Nana Murugesan, said that the firm decided to wind down the majority of its operations in Japan. In the 20th new, Argo blockchain mines 25% less Bitcoin due to winter storm at Helios. Argo blockchain mined less Bitcoin than expected in December due to the firm curtailing mining operations at Helios amid extreme weather conditions. In the 21st new, Huobi clarifies Korean operations, two separate entities aiming at same market. The company confirmed that it has already broken all the ties with Huobi Korea, its former subsidiary in South Korea. In the 22nd new, Bitcoin price taps $17.5,000 as traders in disbelief doubt crypto rally. BTC price action returns to the $17,500 mark for the first time in almost a month, but traders refuse to flip bullish. In the 23rd new, NFT index grades the trading performance of collectors' wallets. The team said that the new tool has the potential to help lenders easily evaluate and determine if they should lend to a wallet. In the 24th new, crypto exchange Zipmex probed by TISEC amid buyout. The cryptocurrency exchange is the subject of a probe by local monetary authorities in Thailand for a potential breach of local rules for digital asset service providers. In the 25th new, Bitcoin nodes data. Frankfurt houses the largest citywide network. Distributed across 5,773 cities worldwide, over 60% and 14% of the Bitcoin nodes run on IPv4 and IPv6 protocols, respectively, while more than 25% run anonymously on .onion. In the 26th new, USDC transfer volume hit 5x USDTs in fallout from FTX collapse. Although it has a much smaller market cap, on-chain data shows that USDC has a much greater transfer volume than its main competitor USDT. In the 27th new, Optimism and Arbitrum flip Ethereum in combined transaction volume. The two-layer, two networks processed more than 1.1 million transactions combined on January 10th. In the 28th new, Proposed bill in Argentina encourages citizens to reveal crypto holdings. Argentines could soon be motivated with tax incentives to declare their crypto holdings, as the government aims to tackle money laundering with a proposed new law. In the 29th new, more details emerge on Twitter coins, and cryptos not included. Tech blogger and app researcher Nima Oje said he didn't find any indication that cryptocurrencies were involved. In the 30th new, it'll be okay, DCG crisis likely won't include a lot of selling Novogratz. Digital currency group's ongoing financial distress isn't likely to cause much further strain on crypto prices, according to Galaxy Digital Holdings CEO Mike Novogratz. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow there will be more news. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.